Hey guys, with the release of the 2018 Nerf Blasters, I got my hands on three of the biggest ones. Of course, not the Prometheus, that's $200. <laughs> but one of these ones, which I've always, um, once I heard the news, I've been looking forward to, I've always wanted the Artemis, is the Nerf Rival Hades. And I'm about to open it, but I'm so excited. Uh, just as a reminder, please leave a like on this video and subscribe because we'll start doing a 100 subscriber giveaway and giveaways after that. And also, I bought these for you guys, these big blasters for you guys, and yes, it wasn't my parents just buying them all, like, you know. <laughs> um, but I bought these for you guys, well, and for me, but I don't know. So yeah, please subscribe and like, you know. Hopefully this wasn't a waste, just kidding, because I think this blaster, blasters I chose to think are going to be really fantastic in wars, but the review here is to find out, is it really what I expected? So guys, let's find out. The Nerf Rival Hades is part of the Nerf Rival line, if you did not know, and the Nerf Rival line has these little foam balls right here. I'll show some once the box is out, just in case you are new, but if you look at the picture or anything, you, it... It's really what it shows. It's literally yellow foam little balls, um, which um, is an ammo I really, really like that Nerf has done. Because uh, these blasters, they do say it on the box, but it's true. I reviewed these. I use these. It's like one of my all-time favorite Nerf series. But it says that rival blasters have a velocity of 100 feet per second, which usually they're like 90-something. It's not all. It doesn't always hit 100. But it says accuracy, which is, like, real, dude. These things are very accurate. I have to find out with this blaster, because I'm pretty sure this one shoots from the bottom barrel. We'll find out. Um, but we'll have to see if this one is pretty accurate, or if there's, like, need to aim a little high, a little low. But just the ammo in general for these blasters are super good. They're fast, powerful, and accurate. I said that word weird, but I always do anyway. But yeah, so I'm really excited because I'm thinking, wow, a powerful, accurate blaster. Now, 60 rounds, guys. This blaster holds 60 rounds. And when I heard that, I was like, dang, that's all you can ask for in a Nerf War. You probably want to reload. I mean, yeah, when you have like 30 darts, you'll reload in the battle sometimes. But then I don't think you use all like 60 if you refill all the way. But 60 rounds, you might not have to refill during the whole battle. And if you do, then it's probably some dope battle, or you just waste your ammo. And this blaster also has slam fire. Fast and powerful blaster, 60 rounds, and has slam fire. Like, and it's rival. Like, what can you ask for more? So that's why I am praying that this is going to be as good as I hope. But I guess let's actually find out. Just take a quick look at the box. Um... Just kind of shows the blaster right and feel the ball that's in pretty much all of them. I think it's in all of them, but don't quote me on that. And then this side just shows, talks about the Phantom Core, how they can choose Team Red or Team White. I'm not the biggest fan of the Phantom Core, even though four of my five, I think, no, three of my four um, rival blasters are all um, the Phantom Core. Mostly because that was were the only colors you could get them in. Um, like the Kronos, the Hera, and now this. I mean, the Kronos will be coming in blue and red, if you guys hadn't heard. So I'm really happy about that, because this got rid of the point of buying a red gun or a blue... Red gun or a blue gun, honestly. Because, I mean, I'm blue team. I always have been. Yet, I have mostly white, but it's fine. I mean, you can use them rogue too, but this just shows the blasters all fighting. But it doesn't show any of the new blasters in this, which I think is interesting. And I think. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, now that the blaster is finally opened, let's review the actual blaster itself. Let's not just take a look at the box. And I have got, and got to play with it just a little bit. Not a whole bunch, because... Don't want to lose too many inside. Um, but here it is. So first of all, before we start talking about the blast itself, I just want to talk about a little feature. There's safety. Um, 
If it's pointed down, it won't shoot. If it's up, it will shoot. So yeah, and then there's a indicator, a priming indicator, which tells you if the gun is primed, um, so that if it'll fire when you pull the trigger, there's a little orange tab. So there's this little square, if you can see through it, it's um, clean, <laughs> you can shoot. If not, if there's orange, wait, sorry. If it's clear, you can't shoot, you still have to cock it. If it is orange, it's loaded, so. See, it shoots pretty hard. But yeah, this blaster is really long. Like, here's my body, and it has combined probably more than a foot longer if you combine the sides. But yeah, it's a really tall blaster. It's not really tall, it's long. Really long blaster. So before um, you decide if you want to buy this, I just want to say it's not the most kid-friendly blaster. A lot of people know Rivals are um, aimed for older kids. Usually the package states 14 year olds and up. But uh, this blaster itself like, is definitely not for kids. But this blaster, guys, is really long that even at my age, I still can't fully use this as a shoulder stock. Which I did kind of know when buying this blaster because I knew it was a long blaster and Though I should be complaining that I can't use the shoulder stock that well because it slides off Or else it but then I don't have enough power Which what I like about it being a little too long or not being able to use the shoulder stock Is I actually kind of like it on the very corner kind of sliding because then my arms closer so I can get more power and I can go faster so I can slam fire this thing. And let me tell you guys this, this blaster is really fun to slam fire. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention I got a haircut? So, how do you load this gun? There's no magazine, which I'm very glad I'm glad. It, this is not the blaster with the magazine out the handle. Not like that's a bad design, because it actually works with the blasters. Um, just, you can't hold as much rounds. So how do you load it? is right here, you can see this logo for the Phantom Core, and there's a tack rod right here. It actually slides. So you slide it down, and then you can just pop balls in. But what's very interesting about it, with my favorite way, where I like to hold three. So right here, I like these three, um, pop them in one at a time, like that, and it just goes by fast. Sometimes you can do four, and even two can go by really fast. It just depends on your kind of style. Four just seems like one sort of pops out and just gets more of a mess. So yes, you can, um, you don't have to pull this all the way down to load it. You can have it right here. But I definitely recommend putting it all the way down because there's springs right here. There's a little notch. When you grab it, it pulls it down. Then you can, there's more space plus can push it down a lot like this is 20 rounds right here and there's a lot more space you know but it makes it way easier to load than a key but yeah in this blaster I used two tack rails because if you saw when I slid this down it's its own separate separate um, rail so 10 PS2 um, you can put the red dot sight and I can't think of any more that would go up here uh, you could also do like the little like mag holders, the little clips that hold the mags, but I mean, it's not the best gun to use it with, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, technically it has two. It looks like one big long one though, so you might, people might get confused with that. This has a couple um, sling attachment points. Right here, in the bottom of the handle, there's this little circle. You can put a sling there. Um, of course, you can always put them in the trigger, and then it has one up here, right there in the front, but then also you can put it through the handle or back in this like trigger guard, which not really, this is not really a trigger guard, it's a hand guard I guess, it's kind of weird. It's not like most blasters where it's too small, cramps your hand. I like how big it is because I'm not the biggest fan of these, it can get kind of annoying, but this one it works well, like it doesn't get annoying, you can still 
move your wrist and stuff. So that's really good. So there is no jam um, door on this blaster, but there is this little button where if you slide it up, I think, or is it down? It might it down. If you slide this little orange thing down, it will unprime the gun. Cause that's really annoying, especially with Nerf blasters. Like, that's one of my. I don't complain about them often in my reviews, but that gets annoying, like with the recon or retaliator, when it's jammed, but it's already cocked, so you can't pull it back, you can't open the jam door, nothing, it's just stuck there. This, you can uh, click it, and then you can cock this back, because this is a blaster where once it's cocked, you can't pull it back, so, but of course you can actually do it now, which is great. It's not like the Cyclone Shock where you can just keep like cocking it and it will still rotate. But that's what kind of goes with the blaster since it feeds the, the rounds in. This blaster has four technical barrels, I guess, right here in the front. And it rotates, I believe, to the left. So my left, or if you're holding it. Yeah. So it rotates, and it actually, though it looks like it would shoot out the bottom, or top, shoots out the bottom. I flinched at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, rotate. So this blaster is pretty accurate, but you do have to aim just a teeny weeny bit high uh, due to the fact that it shoots out the bottom. This gun actually has three like spots where you can load them in. So when you pull this down, you can see that there's three things right here, not four. My opinions on this blaster. Um, first of all, I was really excited for this because I thought, wow. A very pr a primary blaster, um, rival, 60 rounds. Like, that's crazy, because in Nerf, you run out of um, rounds, darts, whatever, right? And you have to load them back in, which is annoying. But going in a whole war with 60, even with slam fire, you might never run out, which is fantastic, which I really, really like. And so that's why I got this. I'm thinking slam fire, one of my favorite features in Nerf guns, like, generally. Rival, which is some of the best Nerf is produced. Some of the best blasters Nerf has produced. And then 60 rounds, guys. Like, that's what any Nerfer could wish for. Because 30 rounds, even with a 30 round drum, you still might run out during a war. Like with my Infinis, so guys, um, I have an Infinis review coming out next week. I did get the Nerf Elite Infinis. Even with the 30 rounds, I'll still run out. Luckily, that back spot saves me, so that's a little spoiler, but like, that back spot in that thing is good. Um, but back to this blaster, the 60 rounds, that is very practical, because Nerf rivals are way more practical with speed and accuracy, and then like that, come on, like that's just great. So, very prop, like, props to Nerf and Hasbro, good job. Um, I really like it. And so yes, though I haven't got to use this blaster too much yet, I can't wait to use this in a war soon, but I really like it in general, just playing around with it, it's really fun. The priming in the back is really nice and easy. It's kind of loud, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, the handle isn't too bad. Like, it's kind of a bigger handle, so if you have small hands, it might not be the most comfortable. Like, I have teeny hands, but it works fine. It's good. And it's definitely, like, adults could use it too. Also, this thing is pretty thick around, which I guess, I wish it was like a millimeter on each side smaller, so like two millimeters, like, thinner. But it works great. Like, honestly, I'll probably get used to it fast. And I'm pretty much used to it. Like, it's not bad at all. Just for a teeny bit more comfort. Because it's a little smaller. But otherwise, yeah. I don't have any actual complaints about this blaster. So before the final test, I just wanted to let you guys know, I don't actually have any real complaints about this blaster. I mean, a hopper would be definitely more efficient um, in a blaster like the Nemesis or the Prometheus, where you just pour them in. But with this style of gun, hoppers for the um, the flywheel guns, like this isn't motorized, which I'm glad because quiet guns can be pretty good than having, you know. But like, um, this is still pretty good. So it might feel kind of slow if you've used a Nemesis or Prometheus. It may feel kind of slow loading them in because you just pop them in um, and it's 60 rounds but compared to any other blaster even mags this goes by really fast especially all right let's go to the firing test all right guys I got the blaster um, loaded up now I'll be shooting at the small square 
towards the top. It's the square, not the rectangle. Um, I'll be shooting that. For, for right now, let's do some single fire, test the accuracy, and then we'll do some slam fire. Three volts. Wow. Too low on that one. So as you can see, it's pretty accurate. I'm gonna finish off this. Um, I want to call it barrel, even though it's not this loading port. I don't want to call it. Suffice the barrel. Probably talking about that. So I'm gonna finish that off first. All right. Now we're gonna do slam fire. 40 rounds, guys. Uh, well, may, it might only be 20. We'll see. I might have to take a break, to be honest. <laughs> but, yeah, let's just let's just unload this thing. <laughs> um, one little thing, though. Once one goes out, the spring does shake. It's kind of loud, but, you know, there's not really that... There's not really anything to do about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know what slam fire is, slam fire is when... Instead of cocking the blaster back and then pulling the trigger to shoot, if you hold down the trigger, once you cock it, it fires. So it's like kind of like a machine gun, but not electronic. Like, like you can go as fast or slow as you want. So. I stopped right on 20. Wow. So yeah, guys, that was pretty, uh, pretty crazy. It's pretty loud, if you could tell. Um, and there were a couple spots where I didn't push it all the way back or all the way forward. But this blaster isn't as peak with that. But you guys do need to pull it all the way back and all the way forward. So yeah, guys, it's been a very effective blaster. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys wanted to buy this blaster, its retail price is 70 bucks. Yeah, 70 dollars, US dollars. Um, I see it at stores. I got it for 70 um, using Target. But I have seen Walmart, Amazon, they're 65.88, I believe, when this video is being posted. So this is, that was during the first week of these blasters coming out. So yeah, if you guys want to buy one, you definitely should. I definitely recommend it. Uh, you definitely have to spend some money on it. It's expensive. But I feel like this is a blaster that won't, let, won't really ever let you down in Nerf Wars. So that's pretty sweet. So, so guys, please like and subscribe. Uh, just a friendly reminder. So by the time this video was being made, we had 88 subscribers. Um, so you guys should subscribe because once we hit 100 subscribers, we'll do a giveaway. And then on other benchmarks, like 200 subscribers and 300, we'll be doing giveaways. Starting small, we'll get bigger and bigger. So just please subscribe, guys, so we can start doing those, get those out to you. And yeah, please like this video. Also, I have a couple more Nerf guns from the new, uh, I have a couple new 2018 Nerf guns that you'll be seeing soon. Including next week is the Nerf. Um, and Strike Elite Infinite. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure you subscribe, put notifications on. Guys, we just released a new Nerf storyline, so if you guys want to see that, it's called Renegade, click right here in this corner. If you want to see my um, Nerf storyline I posted last, like actual storyline, not just the story, um, Target NRF, click up there, which just to let you guys know there's some little crossovers, so you want to check out both of those. Also, if you guys want to see the Nerf Rival um, Apollo review. Click down here. The first Rival Blaster I ever had. And if you guys want to subscribe, click down here. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.